Welcome back, everybody. It's Mark. Well, I'll tell you what. This is something that people should do at 100 hours. We got filters for the motor. Gonna open them. These were bought on Amazon. I will share the, the model numbers, etc. So Quicksilver and Mercury, same, same. Don't be afraid to buy the Quicksilver brand. Of course, it's going to get windy. Though. We're supposed to get some inclement weather, but there she is. You can buy the replacement filters that go inside these. <clears throat> I've had my boat going on almost, it'll be four years in two weeks. It's amazing. But uh, what you want to do is occasionally, you know, after some time, change this whole thing out. This whole thing was like 14 bucks. Uh, you can experience cracking, you know, depending on your climate, these things can uh, wear out, which, you know, like I said, it's 14 bucks for the whole thing. Okay, so there's that guy. We got another one. In case you didn't know, you have two filters under the cowling of that motor. Now this is a mercury <clears throat> part. So this is your inline fuel filter. So that's 35-879884T. Okay. All right, so the inline fuel filter, you got 35-879885K. Okay. These will both do the 40, 50, and 60 horsepower motors. So, there you go. We are going to change these out right now. Okay, we'll talk about orientation here in a minute. First things first, we got to get that cowling off. All right, well, taking your cowling off is no big deal. I'm sure a lot of you have done it by now. You just release this latch, pull up. And there you have that. To get to your high pressure filter, you're gonna have to remove some things. It's down in here. Your high pressure filter is sitting down in this area right here. Right there, underneath this foam, there's zip ties. You're gonna have to remove all of this to get at it. That guy's out of the way, we're gonna wanna actually unclip him all right there's some zip ties you're gonna have to cut off as well to separate the bundle you can always put them back on it's no big deal just make sure you get all the stuff out you don't need anything extra floating around in here okay the high pressure fuel filter is right here. It was underneath this piece of foam, which I showed you earlier. This is an expert level removal and install. You gotta take quite a bit of stuff apart on your motor, and I know that'll make some people pretty queasy, but uh, it's all nuts and bolts. You just gotta remember where everything goes. So we gotta get this guy out, replace him, get the sleeve back over it and start putting things back together. But yeah, this rail right here, you'll see, and I'll, I'll put that back together and uh, kind of reverse engineer it. But this is not easy. There's a lot of stuff that you gotta be mindful of, some small wires. You just gotta be careful not to mess with this. It's a 5 sixteenths. Uh, socket or 5 16th nut driver both come in handy so don't uh, you don't need a whole bunch of tools and you got to remember when we put all this back together we got to zip tie it back together there are quite a few zip ties there's some one hole straps that you gotta uh, pinch back down and remount right here but we'll go through all that when we put it back together but anyway that's it and you see these red tabs? You push these down to get the fuel filter off. Like so. Okay. You wanna be real careful. Right here. 
You want? Oh, shit. I dropped it. These are directional. There's an arrow right here facing towards the back of the outboard. You want to follow that arrow going backwards. Fuel will come out of this. Just make sure not too much. And have a towel handy, which I don't. All right, and like you saw, I took the other piece off. All we're gonna do is unclip it. And remember, arrow facing back of the outboard all it does is clip on no big deal and we got to grab the other end which is right here take it underneath everything if there's fuel boom so that's done you want to be quick about this and you want to get that sleeve back over this whole thing There. We're going to zip tie this. Cut your tag ends off. All right, now we got to put this mess back together. We're going to start by putting this rail on, but first I'm going to tighten this guy right here on the bottom. Once once you put this down in there, you're not going to get him back. Okay, you also, remember you got this spacer washer. This guy's gonna go in behind. Right. I'm gonna get it in position and then slide it over the hole. You got that guy. And I'm not gonna tighten everything down I'm just getting things kind of snug. This guy, I'm going to go ahead and tighten down on the bottom because he's going to disappear. So, these guys right here, these metal tabs, slip over these rubber grommets and then screw to the rail. Then they screw to this rail. And they're kind of in order. One, two, three really can't screw this up because of the the way they have the wiring laid out it's in length so just be mindful not to cut anything that's going to be your biggest uh hurdle is not destroying your wire bundles and i mean it's way down in there so it's hard for me to get my big hands so i got it held right there All right, we've finished putting in the high pressure inline fuel filter. I'm going to talk about that real quick. Uh, I showed you some of taking it apart. If you have big hands, this is not fun. I would almost say this is kind of an expert level uh, removal and install on your outboard. If, if you're not comfortable taking things apart, this probably isn't for you. Uh, you're going to take all your coils off basically to get down in here to where your filter is you can see that foam cylinder right there it's doable uh you don't need very many tools i used a 5 16 nut driver and 5 16 socket quarter drive helps to have a, a little bit longer handle and a, an extension will be your friend at times as well now, a pair of dikes are going to come in handy to clip your tag ends off of your zip ties when you go to put everything back together. You want to zip tie in all these places where the wire is going to uh, bounce around. So just take note of it. The best thing I, I can recommend if you're going to do this is to take a couple pictures uh, as you're doing it when you're taking things apart. Uh basically as a blueprint to reference because when you get all this stuff off there are a couple clamps that you're going to need to know where they go back on and and uh those types of things but there you go 
that was the uh, that filter. Now we're gonna jump on the other side of the motor and we're gonna do this guy. Right here, this is a lot easier. So this fuel filter, basically, all you gotta do is loosen this nut here, pull this away and uh, unclip it, put a new one on, put it back in. Much easier install, so we're gonna do that right now. All right, so in order to get this guy off, we're gonna take this nut off this whole thing's going to slide out. We're going to do our work outside of the motor housing. So, got a number 10 socket. I'm just going to loosen that up so I can get that off there. It just slides right off. You want to save all these parts. You're going to need all this. <clears throat> Your new one doesn't come with any hardware. Just the, basically the uh the post the threaded post that you're going to put these things back onto so it's right there and all this is going to go back on so you just want to stack it up and kind of leave it off to the side for just a minute we're going to cut these zip ties off take these off we're going to refit them all right so we're going to cut these off you want to be very careful not to damage your fuel lines You do one at a time and I'm just kind of twisting it and when I twist it and I push on a little bit it relieves that pressure and there we go you are gonna have a little residual fuel in there so if you wear you can wear gloves if you'd like it's probably smart the first line I took off is my outside line, basically, as you look into the motor. I'm going to go ahead and feed him on. He's on. I am going to wipe everything down as I put this back in. We're going to toss a zip tie back onto here. And you want this to be snug. You do not want to skimp on your uh, the strength of this. Clip off your tag end. That one's done. Okay? It's going to look just like that. So now we're going to go for this other guy. And this one, they put two on. They had one on the corrugated tubing to keep it up snug. And... Uh, then they have one on the rubber tubing as well. So we're going to go ahead and clip this guy off. That one's done. And again, we're going to do just give it like a little twist. And it's done. Now bring this guy inside here. Stab him on. We're gonna go ahead and zip tie him. We're almost done. This, this guys, is a very quick thing. Uh, changing this filter out is, is literally a, a two minute job. It's not a big deal. You just wanna make sure and get everything on there proper. Now we're gonna push this corrugated tubing back up this zip tie if you can see that i want to get that up right there okay want it right so the zip tie is basically on the the cut it cut side of that corrugated tubing now i'm going to put another zip tie to cinch down the corrugated tubing back down onto the fuel line itself and it's very easy this is a very amateur thing i would not be afraid to do this got your washer got your nut it's basically for vibration but it's it's a washer that it pinches into this bracket here and and you're done it that that's that's as easy as it is 
And then I am going to tighten this nut back up. And that's it. That's all you gotta do. Now your fuel filter, everything is back together. It already has the conical filter inside of it. You don't need to worry about that. All right, as soon as you're done putting your filters in, uh, whether you do one or both of them, doesn't matter. You wanna go to your primer here and give it some squeezes and you'll see the fuel come in. See that? I wanna get that nice and full. until you got a nice solid bubble there. That's real important. Get fuel in your system. All right, and, and it's that easy to change this filter. It, it literally is, is a couple minute thing. You buckle down and you just change it. Uh, both of these filters, the high pressure inline filter and this, the fuel filter here, were bought on Amazon. Here are those part numbers. I think together they were about 25 bucks. When you take your cowling off, basically it tells you your maintenance schedule right on top of your motor. So you don't even need to go online and ask people in every forum, oh, when do I do my maintenance? Well, it says it right here on top of your motor. You want to change out the high pressure fuel filter, the one that's difficult to get at every three years or 300 hours. Okay. So I don't think I'm at 300 hours, but I am uh, over three years. So it's a good time to change that. So you want to change the suction side fuel filter, which is this guy, the one we just changed in a couple short minutes, once a year or every hundred hours. So uh, you don't have to do them both at the same time, but if you're in there, why not? If you got big hands, doing this filter, uh, the inline filter is a bear. So you really want to think about that before you dig into it. If this isn't something you're comfortable doing, I probably wouldn't do it. I'd probably pay someone to do it. All right, well, maintenance on your outboard is the number one thing you can do to improve the longevity of your boat. Uh, as your boat gets older, the value is right here, okay? If you have a blown motor on a boat, your boat's worthless. So taking care of your boat, doing little things like filters. Uh, we'll do some spark plugs here. Spark plugs, you got to take some stuff apart too. But it's there. I, I'm not having any spark issues, so I'm going to leave those alone until I do. But it does talk about that. It talks about gapping your plugs on top of your motor. There's a lot of good information right here for those of you that are curious about your scheduled maintenance. So anyway, if that helped you out, great. I hope to see you guys in the future. Have a great day. Take it easy. You wanna get that fuel all pumped into your system before you go to start your boat again. So be mindful of that.